guys, I wanted to come on and share with you um, my version of a long journal. And if you've seen any of my older videos, I'm not real um, big on super measuring and making like really intricate books and things like that. I love them. I, I appreciate them so much. They're beautiful. But um, for me personally, I get frustrated trying to make, um, you know, like the flips and the pockets and so many things. Pockets are fairly simple for me. Um, but like, I just don't necessarily make um overly um I don't even know what the word for it is journals so anyway for me I wanted to put together a journal quickly um you know because time is always something that we don't have enough of you're either too tired you need to get sleep because you have to go to work you got your family, you got your pets, you got so many different things going on. And so I had my stuff out and I was actually sewing a stuffed animal back together for my daughter. And um, I just went for it. So here goes. The base is Bristol paper and it is, it's either 100 or 110 pound weight. Um, you can look for it in Michael's, AC Moore, um, some Joann's that have the bigger Joann's that have the bigger art department and the paper is called Bristol and it usually comes in a pad. You can also buy Bristol board. I think a lot of illustrators and stuff use the board for, um, their advertisements in their professional work and it, it's great paper. So... All I did was fold it in half. I believe the pad I purchased was um, 9 by 12. So if you fold it in half, then, you know, you can do the math. Ooh, my ruler is dirty. So you come up with, you know, what, four and a half by the 12 or whatever. Pan out a little bit so you can see it. This is a Tim Holtz stamp, huge stamp, which I really wanted to use. I've had it for over a year and never used it. And as you can see, it worked out perfectly. And I deliberately stamped it so that not the whole stamp would be on the cover. More stamping in the background. Tons of distress work going on. Distress inks, uh, archival inks as well. And... I don't like folding so remember so I took copy paper and this is a brand I purchased from um, Dollar Tree it's by Polaroid very sturdy paper I like the weight of it um, I do stamping on it I obviously use it for making copies I've printed um, some adult coloring pages on it. I just like the paper and it's not bad. I think it was like 50 sheets or something like that for a dollar. Not bad at all. One of my favorite quotes slash uh, scriptures. I have found the one whom my soul loves. There's some awesome signs out there. People who do hand lettering signs with that. My style of journaling is I like stuff all over my paper whether it's stickers or stamps or ink and I don't necessarily write whole passages I don't necessarily record my whole day or month or whatever I just literally write random thoughts or something I was uh, wanting to remember such as you know hey Stevie Wonder came on the radio and I hadn't heard I just called to say I love you in you know like a year or whatever Here's one where I was just writing down various uh, songs and like what year they came out and I was writing down about some movies I'd watched on Netflix and Hulu. That's my version of journaling. Sometimes I will write long drawn out passages and write about something I'm going through or feeling, but I like having 
you know, picking up a book and maybe just stamping or maybe just scribbling all over the page and writing some random thoughts or words. You know, your journal is yours. It's personal. It's your personal space. It doesn't have to be epic. It doesn't have to be a documentary. It doesn't have to be, um, you know, where you just like pour it all out. If that's what you want to do at that time, that's perfectly fine. Your journaling is about you and what you want to do and what you feel. So don't ever feel that you're limited by what others are doing journal-wise. I love the Stamping Tune publications. This one happens to be uh, magazine papers from Somerset Life. I love the quality of them. And as you can see, they take stamping with permanent inks very well. A little snippet, distressed and stamped. Here's this cool Brad, more stamping. It ghosted through on the other side or uh, bled through, that's fine cloth tape that I inked up more magazine pages some smudging and smooshing a tag I made I love these little Tim Holtz clips they are so cool you guys gotta get you some so I can use that for journaling or whatever wash tape another tag I made on craft paper and those are distress inks and distress oxide inks as well as permanent archival links. A couple of Tim Holtz ladies dropped in to gossip and talk about the weather. Magazine pages. Stamping. And as you can see, again, this particular publication, the papers take your stamps very well. Made a pocket here. See how simple this is? I had a square from one of those uh, scrap packs. I didn't put a whole lot of thought into it. Stamped an image, inked it, wet it, let it dry, glued it down. There's my pocket. I'm not a big girl on measuring and cutting and fussy fruit ruin. Really. I just, and it never looks like I thought it would in my brain. Another tag I made. Magazine pages. Used some Tim Holtz scrap packaging, one of his uh, stickers, one of his paper doll ladies, a die cut cutout, and another die cut. We use that for a little inspirational blurb to himself. This is a Tim Holtz die cut, or uh, use one of his dies too. I think those are called nameplates. There's that stamp again. It's huge. Little die cut chipboard birdie. I love this church. I just I love that page. This was a girl that I stamped out and I didn't like the way she turned out, but I had kept her and thrown her in a box, pulled her out, inked the edges, distressed her some more added gaffer tape so there's a little flip out right there very simple some of my die cuts from my die cut in this is a stamp I was going to use this on a as a topper on a greeting card but it's in the journal instead made that years ago, threw it in a box, just one of those domey dots and a piece of scrap paper behind it, trimmed out, little die cut with a little guy, he didn't do it, it was his imaginary friend, another tag, another guy, little guy, lit in color, this is my back cover. And here's the back of it, more distressing and in inks, and glued down some masking tape to reinforce my binding, and that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.